one of the defining and landmark entries of expressionist cinema. The first ever on-screen adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula, F.W. Murnau's surreal gothic fable, Nosferatu, was crucial in supporting the fashioning of the entire tradition and concept of what we know today as a horror film. Made during the time of post-war defeat, films of the Expressionist era sought to provoke and capitalise on the feelings of societal hysteria felt by the German people during this time. Though the word horror to describe the film genre was not used until the 1930s, the foundation for the very concept of terror within cinema can be traced back to George Milius's 1896 short, The Haunted Castle. Despite this, many consider the true birth of cinematic horror to be the works of the German Expressionist filmmakers, with the roots of the style being traced back to early films, such as Robert Vine's The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, and Paul Wagner's The Golem, How He Came Into the World. The signature elements of German Expressionism can be further observed in Murnau's Nosferatu, where they reach an early peak, in turn producing some of the most enduring and haunting imagery ever to be captured popularising the expressionism style of filmmaking and laying the fundamentals for the future of horror cinema. The first ever vampire-themed film, Nosferatu was an unauthorised adaptation of Bram Stoker's gothic horror novel, Max Schreck's unforgettable otherworldly performance as the principal vampire, Count Orlok, lays the foundation for this tale, which begins in Bremen, Germany, in 1838, when a real estate agent assigns his employee Hutter to visit the secluded castle of Count Orlok, who himself wishes to buy a house in town, leaving the Count to soon strike an interest in both his new residence and the wife of his estate agent. Murnau's fable was made with the context of post-war Germany interwoven into its fantasy and horror narrative. In the war, non-conforming death became a frequent occurrence and Nosferatu showcases the effect these deaths left on contemporary German culture. The film's central vampire, Count Orlok, creates death and chaos along his path, similar to the result World War I brought to Germany. Similar to fellow expressionist work The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, Nosferatu has a distinct aesthetic style that is used to express the film's depraved perspective of the world. Murnau's film casts shadows against the set, as opposed to painting them, the complete opposite of Robert Vine's painted sets in Caligari. This creates a sense of duality for the audience and a yearning for daylight in the scene. Atmospheric lighting and reflecting also assist in incorporating the key themes within the mise-en-scene. In the scenes with Orlok, curtains, clothing and walls are all lit darker than previous scenes to contrast the light reflected on his face. For instance, when Orlok approaches the doorway and Hutter's bedroom, Hutter soon becomes absorbed by his own fear becoming engulfed in the shadow of Orlok's head, arms and claws. This revolutionary use of black space and shadows is common occurrence in modern horror, but in Nosferatu this represents more than just an aesthetic choice. This is crucial in signifying the film's foreboding presence and the looming terror of contagion. The mentality of Germany at the time is reflected in this sequence, as the fear of the unknown slithers up on a nation and where the realm of nightmarish thoughts start to consume them. Nosferatu balances this with themes of supernatural and the natural. The juxtaposition between the supernatural forces in the film and the countering natural forces provides a situation where the humans seem to fade into the distance. Orlok, whilst supernatural, is presented in a natural environment. One cannot perceive him in any way except natural settings. Orlok himself is a figure of death who happens to be rooted into life. Essentially, an image of death that has originated from the pits of nature itself. This reflects the inevitable demise felt because of World War I and the fear that it had on the nation. The expressionist movement embraces this trance-like imagery and manipulates it to express the perspective not only the filmmakers had of society, but the perspective of society itself. In German Expressionist films, we witness the world as the characters envision it, 
Nosferatu displays this through the mind's own battle between reality and fantasy. This choice to tell the narrative through the characters emphasizes the subliminal dread and torment felt by the audience, who were essentially living through the characters of expressionist films, and in the case of Nosferatu, the first true cinematic nightmare. Thank you.